All right, so finally time for an advanced tower defense tutorial. And um, this one's probably going to interest a lot of people. I'm going to be doing um, lives, uh, what else is there, upgrades, selling of towers, um, choosing your race, and uh, stuff, m some more advanced stuff, more stuff to make your tower defense an actual playable map that you could have on Battle.net instead of... My, si my simple tower defense tutorial was sort of uh, very basic I guess it, it couldn't from it you probably couldn't make a fully playable map unless you went further um, but from this you should be able to have a pretty decent map at le or at least a base of a pretty decent map so I'm gonna go in game and just demo it right away so right off the bat you see we have a dialogue here our first wave is coming we have lives and I'm gonna choose the star team um, we got moved here here's our builder and I'm going to build uh, right here I think and Build. I'm going to build my small star tower. Oh god, they're already coming. Kind of laggy. And they're shooting them down. And you can you saw the message popped up. And now wave 2 and 15. And yeah, I managed to kill them all. And here's selling, so it'll sell it for 50%. There, I got uh, some minerals back. I got two. Let me build it back. Build some more. And wave 2 beast. And I'm going to upgrade this one to a large star tower. And the large star tower, you'll see its model will change. And it's shooting faster and has two damage now instead of one. And some guys are getting through here. My lives are going down. And wave three is coming in a couple of seconds. So I better build. And hopefully I won't lose any lives this time. Minor error here, but uh, not too important. I'm not going to waste time like fixing little icons in this tutorial. Um, make sure you watch the whole series and this tutorial series before making any comments because um, as always I probably will find bugs in my own map and fix them later on. Um, so make sure you watch everything and uh, this is the last wave which is the giant beasts I believe. Yeah, giant beasts. The boss wave. A lot of health. We got a wave thing here too. Um, where's my builder? There he is. Let me upgrade this. So let's see how they're doing. They're doing all right. Um, and another thing is that I, in this tutorial, I will be showing victory conditions and defeat conditions. Um, so when these guys reach, this is, this is the last wave that I've put in the game. When these guys reach here, I should still be okay. And I won because I had enough lives and it was the last wave. So that's it. And now I'm going to go into the editor and show how to make this. So let's go file new. Um, core hall, I like core hall for doing this kind of stuff. Uh, 80 by 80 is fine. It's going to be a two-player uh, two-player deal here. Uh, cooperative style, as you saw on the map there. They're not going to be competing against each other. So I hit T to go to terrain. Um, I'm going to raise cliff. And a little bit larger. What about that size? That's good. And by the way, to show this grid, you just press G and cycle through it. And to show the map bounds, I believe it's under show terrain, show bounds. Um, anyways, so I'm painting that, and I'm gonna let me get grid back on. Painting that. Oh, I'm going. Oh, damn! I messed up. Okay, just when I say I'm going pretty straight on the pathing, then it happens. Anyways, uh, so that's good. And I'm gonna be doing this a little bit quicker than the one you saw. I mean, a little bit less detailed. Um, because in a tutorial I'm not going to waste time doing design stuff. So this I'm going to paint this, turn the fall off to zero, turn the size up. Paint, there we go. Make sure you paint, um, oops, this is going to be where they spawn from, and I'm doing it right to there, nice straight line. Um, that's the camera bound, so I like to go a little bit in, and this is where they're going to walk to. So as soon as they reach this concrete over here, the game is over. Well, it's not over. They'll, you'll lose a life. Um, and then in between here, this is an interesting thing you guys might like. If you go to replace texture, if I only want to paint in this little area here, I'm going to replace this texture and I'm going to replace it with the grass. So now even if I do this here, it's not going to go over my concrete, which is good. And then I, because I made that mistake here, I'm going to go to uh, fill. That's fill, right? Yeah. Fill texture and click that and make this smaller anyways click here there it filled it and click there it filled it so it fills in between the cliffs 
and that's kind of nice. I'm not going to bother with the water on the edges like I had in my demo map, but anyways, that's good. And maybe just a little bit of cliff here to make it look a little bit nicer. And go back here and let's fill it again with this. There we go. And now, now that we have sort of a nice terrain here, let's go to the map info. So this is what your map name will appear in games. I'm going to name this Advanced TD Tutorial. And you can put your name there and some descriptions. And your loading screen, you can put, you know, title Advanced TD Tutorial. And you can put uh, some body text if you wanted. I'm just going to leave it, press OK, and I'm going to save it as Ad Advanced TD Tutorial. You can see my other maps there. Uh, OK, and then so I got that. And what I want to do now, uh, players. So let's go to players. So I'm just going to do this for two players, but you could do it for more if you wanted. But um, make sure you do your triggers and everything right. Because I'm only going to be doing this for two players and then the computer player who will be uh, enemies. So I'll just call them enemies. Or I'll call him Evil. And he will always just be Zerg. And our builders, I'm just going to leave them as any. That's okay. Save it. Okay, so we got that. And now what we want to do to prevent our builders from going off the map and um, building in weird areas. I'm actually going to make this area not buildable, so um, I'm going to paint this, paint that, and just paint this. No, no, no building pathing. And by the way, to get to this pathing layer, I pressed H. Or you can just go under uh, layer pathing. And went here, let's paint some more. And make sure you paint right to the edges here of the map bounds, the blue line because we don't want them building out there either. Okay. Ooh, don't want to leave a little crack there. You'd be amazed. If you leave like a little crack or something like that, somebody will find a way to exploit it. So there's always some guy who finds a way to exploit anything you make or any map you make or any game or anything. So it's good to be just be safe and cover everything. Go right to the edge there. Okay. That's good. Um... Now that we've got that, we want to go hit R to go to regions. Square is good. And I'm going to be putting this region here inside the blue line, but uh, out, but uh, not too, like right to the edge of the concrete, but not outside the blue line. And let's rename this to uh, spawn region for the creeps or whatever. And then let's go to the bottom here. And let's drag it right along there. Oh, I missed kind of and rename this to end region. Let's just say I'm forgiving a bit, so I leave them a little slack between the grass and the concrete and the end region there. So um, anyways, we got the end region, we got the spawn region, and now hit P to go to points, and let's put a point right here, and then a point right here. And the first point is going to be player one builder spawn. So this is where player 1's builder will spawn when they choose their race. And this one will be player 2's spot. So it kind of forces, well it doesn't really force, but it emphasizes that player 2 builds behind player 1, or they can build together or do whatever. Uh, just good to separate them a bit, because this is a cooperative tower defense. And uh, okay, so I got that, and I think we are done with the terrain section of this. And next we will be heading to the data editor.